Hey guys, Indigo Films TV here. It is the eighth day of Christmas, so let's get started on our goals. It says on the sixth way, eighth day of Christmas, a rude elf ignored thee. Why won't he listen to me? And of course, that is referring to all the talking to the elves that we just did a couple of days ago, starting from a couple of days ago, and they didn't really um, acknowledge us. So our first goal is to admire a Nutcracker Soldier. It says that Nutcracker Soldier that Santa gave you is great. Get your sim to admire it. If you didn't place a Nutcracker Soldier in any of your homes yet, you'll find it in the decoration sections of the home store. So this goal today is to win the Santa chair, which is green and is pictured right there. <clears throat> so for those of you guys who don't know where the Nutcracker Soldier is, we finished this yesterday on our goal yesterday, and it would be under decorations. And right here, if you guys get it the first time, it would be free. It's one star, and if you get it the next time, it would be 22 lifestyle points. So we have, I actually found out a place to put it right in front of my door. So I'm going to have my sim, I'm going to use this sim this time. And she's dressed up in her snowboarding gear because she just went snowboarding. But I'm going to have her admire the Nutcracker Soldier. And we already did this yesterday. If you guys watched the end of my video, we admired it. So she's just looking at it and approving of it. So she just admired it. And she thinks it looks fantastic. And it says, the next goal is to watch the Nutcracker Soldier closely. Hang on, did you hear that? I'm pretty sure the Nutcracker Soldier made a noise. There's something unusual about this Nutcracker Soldier. Get your synth up to keep a close eye on the Nutcracker Soldier, just in case it makes that sound again. So we're going to have, I want that same sim to come back. Let's find out where she is. Okay. So we're going to have her keep a close eye on it. And it's going to take... 8 hours and 30 minutes, so we're going to come back in that amount of time. Of course, if you guys saved lifestyle points, you can definitely use those. So she's just going to keep <laughs> a close eye on it. If you listen to her, it's pretty funny because she's just nodding and just saying, just kind of being like, mm-hmm, what are you doing right now? Let's see what you're going to do. I know you're just standing there, but I know something's going to happen. That's pretty freaky. What if it just jumps out of nowhere? It's kind of like if you guys have seen the scary snowman where you think it's immovable or not movable and then all of a sudden it jumps out of nowhere. Pretty scary. So maybe that'll happen here. Anyways, we'll wait about eight hours and we'll come back later. All right, and eight and a half hours later, we just were looking at it and it says use the Nutcracker Soldier to communicate. And it says, hey, the Nutcracker soldier just made that sound again. It sounded like a beeping noise, kind of like a radio. Maybe the Nutcracker soldier has radio in it. Has a radio in it? There's another grammar error. All right. Maybe it's the final elf trying to get in contact with you. Use the Nutcracker to talk to the elf. So it's sort of acting as a medium. And I have my sim. She looks kind of crazy because she's talking to a statue right now. But she is, in actuality, trying to get in contact with an elf. And it's going to take about five minutes. So we'll go ahead and come back. Hopefully she's not just doing this to be crazy. And hopefully the other elf responds. So I'll come back in a few minutes. Alright, so our next goal is to fly a sleigh to Egypt. Egypt, cool. So... It says, it worked. Your sim just spoke to an Elphia Nutcracker radio. Wow, Santa appears to have installed fail-safe communication devices all over the place. First, there was Santa tree, the Christmas tree at Santa's workshop. Now we have this Nutcracker with a radio inside it. You can congratulate Santa for his fail-safe communication system later. In the meantime, you have another elf to find in Egypt. Use a sleigh to fly to, e fly to Egypt. So, one of our... One of our elves were found on, I think it was called Plankton Island. We're going to go fly to Egypt. It's the one on the lower right-hand side. It takes about 7 hours, 12 minutes, and our sleigh is outside. Um, the first elf was found in the Plankton Islands. The second one was found in Peru, and this one is going to be hopefully in Egypt somewhere. Um, hopefully. So our sleigh is gone, and let us come back in a few hours. There's Santa again, and he loves the Christmas decorations. It's funny because he'll just go to whatever he sees that's a de Christmas decoration. Um, so like if you guys have one, he'll go to that one. But since this Christmas cabin has all the Christmas decorations, he's just been going around and admiring everything. 
that's in here. So, anyways, we will come back in a few hours. All right, so it's been seven hours, and it says the next goal is to talk to Santa about elves. And it says that we found Gerald P. Spongefingers, the elf. He was the final elf. Go tell Santa the good news. So we're going to go ahead and go to Santa, who's sitting on this couch. And we're going to tell him the good news. So we're going to talk about elves for six minutes. And uh, you can kind of see the little doorway where there's a mistletoe here. Some people were asking how to make people kiss under mis the mistletoe. You just make them walk to it, and then they can kiss under it. There's no specific action. So, here is my sim talking to Santa in my porch area, and we will come back in a few minutes. Alright, so, we just talked to Santa, and it says our next goal is to daydream on a park bench. Great work, Santa looks so happy. I think your sim needs to take a break, go to the park, and daydream on a park bench. So, we're going to go ahead, again, this is... The goals here are for Santa's chair, which if you guys have ever seen it or want to see it, just go to Santa's workshop and it's in front of the fireplace. It is nighttime in my town, and we're going to call over that same sim so she can take a break on the bench. The bench, the bench, the bench, and this is the closest bench, so we're going to, what's the goal again? Dream on a park bench. Daydream? Daydream. So we're gonna daydream. It's only gonna take about a minute. I feel like I've never seen this rock before. Has that always been there? Anyways, I'm sure it has and I just haven't noticed it. Well, she's just chilling here and I guess I'll just throw in some banter in the meantime. It is nighttime in my town and in my house that we were just at the Christmas cabin, I have a weather machine there that changes the weather and I made it snowing just to fit in with the holidays a little bit more, which is why it's snowing. But, um, yeah, I wanted to make a special shout out to somebody who offered to buy the shoes that didn't fit me yesterday that I was complaining about in my video yesterday. So thank you. Um, I commented on your comment. I replied to you. Um, I'm working with Tom's. Hopefully they'll, they have seemed to get something um, started on the return. So hopefully that'll work. But I talked to them, and they didn't say sorry or anything. They just said, oh, yeah, we'll deal with it. <laughs> so I don't know. And I just told them what happened, and they kind of were like, what? They were kind of lost, but, I mean, I mean, I don't know what I expected from an employee, but, I mean, that was just kind of surprising. But, yeah, <laughs> um, I was reading your guys' comments, and I guess – one of your guys had a brother who ordered protein shakes and got like a bunch of them instead of the amount that they wanted. But I guess, I mean, that's that's probably a good thing because, I mean, they don't have to advertise it right because they could just drink it whenever they want and they have more than they ordered. So they can use it. I don't know. When do they use it? Next time they work out? But yeah. Oh, there's the footprints again. It's so creepy when that appears. It's so magical. When something magical happens, it's a little bit creepy, too. But it says, examine footprints in the park. Okay, some footprints just appeared a little away from the statue. Get your sim to examine them. So we're going to examine it. Again, it takes 15 seconds. Um, it does look like elf prints. Let me know what your guys' favorite Christmas movie is. Mine is probably either Bad Santa or... The Grinch Who Stole Christmas by Dr. Seuss, the one with Jim Carrey. So, we just examined the footprints, and it says, Ask Thinking Man about statue about elves. Look, more footprints. It's like there's an invisible elf walking around the park, but you found all the elves already. Who could it be? Your sim just had an awesome idea. Ask the Thinking Man statue. He's a statue in the corner of the park. So let's look for the statue in the corner of the park. We're going to search the corners. That one? Oh, that's so cool. All right. See, I always noticed him here. And if you guys haven't seen my statue for the review of the park, I do show the statue. And But I've never talked to it. 
but it's gonna be, take about three and a half hours and hopefully she's not being crazy again. <laughs> Just talking to a statue, but hey, it's dark out, right? Nobody's at the park except for Santa, and he is as magical as the statue is. So we'll come back in three and a half hours. Oh, that's so cool. What is that? The thinking man statue didn't say anything verbally, but wait, what was that? Did you see that? That thing appeared out of nowhere. Admire whatever it is. What is this thing? That's crazy. It's like a steampunk train for Christmas. It's a spirit vacuum, but it looks so steampunk. Do you guys like that genre? I mean, it's kind of like a hipster genre, but... <laughs> Alright. So we just admired it, and it looks like it's like sucking something. <laughs> like sucking Christmas spirit out. Whatever it is, it's doing something. It kind of looks like a giant vacuum. Ask the thinking man statue what he thinks it is. That is so wicked. All right, let's ask him about the vacuum. My sim is going to seem a little bit crazy again just talking to the statue in public. But hey, why not? It's magical. It's Christmas. So it's going to take about six minutes and... Oh, you can, that's so cool that you can see, like, there's a lamp here, and it kind of illuminates whatever this is. So, we're going to go ahead and take a small, a picture of this, and it does save onto my camera roll, for those of you guys who don't know. Um, it's going to be a little dark, though, but yeah, we'll come back in about six minutes. Today's goal has my sim talking to a lot of inanimate objects, but that's cool. So we'll come back in a few minutes. And it disappeared. It says, examine the license plate in the park. The statue says that ma the machine's owner's name is on the license plate. Go look at the license plate in the park. Also, where did the rest of it go? Cool. So we have some letters. I'm going to take a picture of this too. And I'm taking a picture of this because I have a list of the Symphabet, the alphabet for Sims, free play. And we're going to try and translate this later. Hopefully it's not two bad words. But uh, we'll go ahead and look at it later to see if we can translate it. I'm sure some of you guys already can translate it because I know a lot of you guys um, have tr accepted my challenge where I've shown you guys words and you guys can translate it. By the way, the Simtown sign says, I forgot what it says, but one of you, <laughs> I've heard so many like guesses about what words mean on whether it's posters or that statue or statues or like um, that Simtown sign, but a lot of them are wrong. So I don't know if you guys are just like guessing what it means, but there's an actual alphabet and you have to translate. But we'll come back in a few minutes. All right, so we just looked at the license plate and it says, talk to Santa about the grouch. Um, the license plate says the grouch, who is the grouch? Oh, okay, so I guess it's translated for us. We'll see if that's really what it translates to later. And where did that machine go? Wow, this is big, ask Santa about the grouch. Um, speaking of the Grinch, I guess the grouch might be a character based off the Grinch because that's what it sounds like. The grouch who stole the Sims Free Plays Christmas. Let's see how far along we are with the goal. Oh, we're 91% complete. So we're almost there. And we'll come back in a few minutes. All right, so that was it. And we got the chair. It says Santa just left in a hurry. I wonder what's happening. Who is the grouch? Where did that thing in the park come from and where did it go? Things are getting interesting. In the meantime, Santa's left you a special replica of his Santa's chair. You can find it in the home store. So again, we're going to go back to my special... It looks like Santa was still there, but we're going <laughs> we're gonna to go back anyway. I should have asked Santa, hey, weren't you going to leave? Why are you still here at the park? But we're going to go back to my Christmas cabin where it's a little bit brighter call my sim on over so that she's not in the park and she's not freezing even though it's a little bit colder here 
And we're going to go ahead and put our Santa chair up. It should be under... Um, it's going to be under your living room section. And yeah, it does look... I'm going to put it here next to the fireplace. And it does... And of course, it's free the first time. After that, it is 15 lifestyle points. One star. But again, we've seen this from going to Santa's workshop. I'll have my sim start dozing off in it. Or maybe mm, speculate, spe speculate about who the Grouch is. It kind of seems like it's a Grinch-like character. Um, based off my guess. Because... He did have that machine um, that seemed to be sucking the Christmas spirit into it, the vacuum. So we'll have her speculate just for fun about what it is. But we did finish with this goal today, and um, I want to show you guys something else. Um, mystery shop box. I have seven keys. I need three more for the fortune box. And then hopefully in a few weeks, I will show you guys what I got in the fortune box. But yeah, this is what I've been saving up for. I didn't want to open up any of the earlier ones. Um, cause I wanted to see if the fortune box was that amazing. So we'll just go ahead and look at that later. And that is our Santa chair. I put it right here next to the fireplace and next to the foosball table. And I only have the foosball table here cause it is green and there's some red foosball men there. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great day, you guys.